All right, Shalom, Shalom. Want to first all give our glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Karkadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders that have set up the overseer of tabernacle of David. Uh, humble salutation greetings to the brothers and Ikon that's preaching the truth and sincerity. And truth and sincerity, all right? And uh, I just want to tackle the topic of uh, this spiritual thing of ours truly, truly concerning and dealing with men, okay? It's not anything prejudice against women or anything, or it's saying they can't receive it. But it's uh, this truth, this truth of ours in the spiritual thing about is truly targeting men. Okay, it's truly, it's truly in the midst of men. Okay, and I just want to uh, go forth that being because it's a, it's, it's countless examples of my own testimony. I done had interactions with women; they just can't swallow the whole role of this truth of what, of what, of what the scriptures say. Okay, and then you gotta really think back about okay, damn, the the the, the scriptures that I'm about to uh is really calling for men, okay? Not cause we understand it, and it's nothing against women, like I said. Cause we understand that they're more emotional, they are the weaker vessel, okay? And we deal more with logic and what and what it or what something directly says. Alright. And that's a, and that's another reason why only a select few of women actually follow uh the apostles and the apostles and elders of uh, Great Millstone. Okay, cause they get, it's hard for them to swallow that that, that whole world, and it's, and it's hard for a lot of uh, these other Israelites to swallow the whole world. These Israelites, these repulsed to you know what I'm saying? To call another name, man, they can't swallow the whole world, man. And it's and the division is meant to happen. If, if, if we know we are not meant to be on one accord. Okay, that's not how Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah set it up. All right, and this is Brother Shema. All right, so I'm gonna start out with uh, Proverbs eight and fourteen. It says, unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. All right? The, the, his voice is to the sons of man. Can women teach? Okay? Can women teach? No. Are they elect? Who are they elect, man? They elect their men. Okay? You might want to get that. They elect their men. And in that, in that mark is that exempt for judgment in Ezekiel uh, 9 and 4. When you go to the etymology. It means to exempt, exempt for that mark is different from the mark of revelations. Okay. And it says, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, No, Salaki. And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay. That mark is, is that they let this for the men. That one third is going to be full of women and children. Okay. This is this is what it is, man. This this truth about it is very spiritual. It's very spiritual, man. It's a reason for everything. It's a reason why you, why the uh, prophets, um, through the through the spirit of Yahweh through the through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, set it up, uh, for, for men. All right. It's a, it's that it's a, it's an order unto this, man. It's an order. Let me see if I want to do this. Priest out of the uh, apocrypha. This is this is uh it's very spiritual, man. It's for the men. All right. It's nothing against women, all right? It says this is, uh... Brother, who made me? Me, he did. No, I don't think I want that one. Let me see if I want the second edge of chapter 16. Uh... All right, it says, uh... Second edge of chapter 16, verse 61. It says, He made man and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Okay, we understand that this, this, through this, um, men are going to lead us into salvation. Okay, we're not saying the apostles and elders and the uh, the apostles and elders of um, that can, they can't, they, we're not saying they can save you, but they're going to lead you and teach you the, the, the true doctrine, the sound doctrine of these scriptures, whether you can swallow it or not. That's on you, that's where your faith stands. It's predestined. Okay, verse 62 Yeah, in the spirit of the Almighty God, which made all things, search out all the hidden things in the secrets of the earth. All right. He set up he he set up men to have his life and understand. That's why he set up men to teach. He didn't set up women to teach. He set up women to be a, a real unto the man, a helpmate unto the man. Now our spirit shouldn't even be on uh, our spirit of today shouldn't even be searching for a real boy or not. Alright? Trying to trying to get your trying to get the woman to understand. Alright? Let man, man, we we trying to search out the elect. We trying to we trying to search for the we trying to uh, wake up the elect. If in the elect may be already sealed. Okay? Let me get uh let me get that priest up matter of fact. So I said you're looking for it. Let me get Mark. But I just had I had to make that because it's been a, 
recently, very recently, man, we done had a little few encounters with, with women. All right. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, Mark chapter Mark chapter one verse seventeen. And Yahusha said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Fishers of men. All right. Fishers of men. Fishers of men, man. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way around that. Fishers of men. This thing. They think this thing of ours is truly for men. Okay. And we gotta keep, constantly remind ourselves of that. Like, dang, why she can't get it, man? Or sh don't even deal. You should, you can't. You don't even have to deal with the women. All right, they very emotional. They may be. They may maybe with it right now, man. They, they can get too tossed to and fro easily. As as um, so can we. But but the women more easily than us. Okay. Um, let me get another uh scripture a uh, precept. This is Revelation chapter twenty one. <laughs> Verse 3, and I heard a great, great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with, is with men. Okay. And he would, and he would dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them and be their God. All right. Then he going to dwell with men. All right. The, the women are going to be helpmates, man. They're going to be, they're going to be helping. They're going to be the support system. But the truly, the people that's going to lead in this truth and this spiritual thing around is the men. You gotta truly humble down and accept that. I women can't humble down, man. Let me get one out of Daniel. I know Daniel got a powerful. Power, I know four. Daniel chapter four verse. Daniel chapter four verse seventeen. All right. It says, Daniel chapter four verse seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. In the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that that the living that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. See, may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. See, that's Daniel chapter four verse seventeen. He and I'm gonna finish it. In the kingdom of men, and give it to whosoever he will, and set him up over the basis of men. All right, he this this is how it's set up. Most High is dealing with men. His kingdom is a, is amongst men. Okay. We are supposed to be, we are supposed to be, man, saw the whole world, man. Endure that sound doctrine. Your, your congregation should be full of too much women, man. Only, if you got a congregation of, damn, uh, for example, 50 women and, and five and five men, only five can do the work. Only five can go do the work. Hit the hit the highways and byways, make their ministry proof. Make proof of their ministry. So like, all right, come on, bro. We, we, trying, to, we trying to get the men, dog, to get out of here, okay? Women can't do the work with us, man. They can't hit the streets with you. It's not wise to have a woman out there with you. You don't know what. This is a spiritual warfare. You don't know what can go on out there. Take your take your woman out there, man. But hey, man, each his own, okay. And it's not gonna be. And we're not gonna be on one accord. We're not meant to be on one accord. Let me get that. I just talked with a brother today. He put he put it. And now this is a great piece of he pulled. Luke chapter twelve verse fifty one. It's saying, and this is a side note. Same with the unity camps, man. <laughs> that's, that's not that's not of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. Y'all got two different doctrines. How y'all teaching them the same? How y'all teaching them the same uh, corner? Or teaching together or whatnot? <laughs> this is Luke chapter twelve and fifty one. So suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. He has no question, man. Yeah, this is Yahweh Shah speaking. I I tell you, nay. I mean, he said no, but rather division. See, he's meant to divide, man. It's rather division. Okay. Everybody's not gonna be on one accord. It's not. Everybody's not meant to be on one accord. It, it's some people not. It's same with the uh, division with with the with uh the house of Israel alone, with the twelve tribes, southern northern kingdom, the one and two thirds, us amongst the heathen. It's, it's division in every um in every attribute, or every column, or subject, or topic, concept. It's division. We're not meant to be on one accord. Okay. We are not meant to be on the one accord. Us being called in this truth, okay, to endure, to make our call and election sure. But I just had to tackle those precepts because um, this brother women just can't swallow it, man. And if they do, man, all praises they can swallow the whole road. It is what it is. But all the emotion, man, that that's what they're supposed to do, okay. All the emotions and whatnot, man. We dealing, we dealing with the men. We searching out the men, okay. 
to labor with us in, in this spiritual thing of ours. Okay, and if the woman be a helpmate, then okay. And we man, your congregation got man, it's not y'all is not dealing with that, man. It's a reason, it's a it's it's a reason why it's only a select few of women uh follow actually actually uh learning uh, following the apostles and elders a great millstone. Starting with Apostle Tahar on down. Alright. It's a reason for that. It's a reason, man. You gotta look at all all things and all perspectives on the in the spiritual thing of ours, man. This this truth is this truth is truly calling for the man. Alright. This is this is what it is, man. Right? That's ain't no way around that. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to get, man. And this is Brother Shamak. Y'all go into Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Okay? And all double honors to the apostles and elders that oversee this tabernacle of David. That that are that is being risen up in these last in these last days. Alright? And that's all I wanted to tackle, man. Have, keep the faith. Show on.